Hi, I'm Beth Trout, VP of Advancement and Communications for Landis Communities. Today I get to share with you about Fellowship Day. I pray that all of you watching this are healthy physically, emotionally, and spiritually. In just a few minutes, Donna Mac Shank is going to share a prayer for us as we kick off the 48th annual Fellowship Day, this year Fellowship Week, all in support of the Landis Homes Caring Fund. 2020 has been challenging in many ways for us. We've had many uncertainties, but those challenges have also caused each of us to think differently, to see how we can overcome obstacles and to find new ways of living our lives. At Landis Homes, we've seen that demonstrated in many ways throughout the pandemic. And another example of that is the plan for Fellowship Day that I'm gonna share with you right now. So there are three components this year that are part of Fellowship Day that are open to anyone who wants to participate. An online auction, the chicken barbecue, and fill the gap. So start with the benefit auction. That began 23 years ago, ago and has grown and changed over time, but this is the first year that all of the bidding for the Fellowship Day auction is going to be online. Now, there's some good news and some bad news with all of that. We don't get to be together, but it does mean that anyone, anywhere, uh, can be part of the online auction. So if you've not registered yet, we invite you to go to landisauction2020.ggo.bid to sign in to view the items. There are more than 150 items that are on the site so far. Things like quilts and art and handcrafts, sports memorabilia, and much more. So please go check it out. The bidding is now open and it will run until 8 p.m. on Sunday the 13th. So again, because this is online, anyone is able to participate. So please spread the word. About the chicken barbecue, uh, that will take place on Saturday, September the 12th. It is a drive through event. So you will enter Landis Homes at the west entrance and we'll guide you from there so you don't have to worry too much about the logistics. Uh, barbecue meals are $12, chicken halves are $8. There will also be some baked goods available that we'll have for you at that time. Family members of residents who wish to stay and enjoy the meal with the residents will have to go through screening and will have to follow the visitation guidelines that are currently in place for the campus. So those are on our website at Landis Homes if you want to check those out before you come. And Fill the Gap. Uh, Fill the Gap started about nine years ago as a special part of Fellowship Day. And for those of you who've experienced it, it's really a cool time because it's a time when we are not competitively bidding against each other. We are cooperatively bidding for a cause and really trying to show how we come together to care for and serve each other. I'm going to miss seeing those bitter cards go up this year because, again, that is such a cool part. But we know that there is a great need and Fellowship Day is one of the primary ways we raise money each year for the Caring Fund. So filling the gap is something that we want to make sure that we continue to put out there as a part of this special day. More than $3 million of uh, charitable care is provided each year. Often that's in the last years of someone's life. Uh, that's when individuals need that extra care and support for resources that have, have been depleted. And we have calculated this last year that that gap is about $180 per day between what medical assistant covers and the cost of care. So that is the cost to help fill the gap for a day for a resident in need. So I invite you to click on the link with this post. You can read the story of Esther and John and your gift will support a resident like Esther. So Fellowship Day again is coming together as part of a community and even though it's going to look different this year, we are continuing to serve one another. We are continuing to live life to the fullest and most importantly, we want to care deeply and we do care deeply for each other. So please again, visit the auction website. Uh, now you can register and begin bidding. It will close on Sunday the 13th at 8 p.m. Plan to drive through the barbecue on September 12th between 10.30 and 3.30 to have delicious Peter's barbecue. And we invite you again to fill the gap for a resident in need with an online gift at the link below. So thank you for being part of this wonderful community here at Landis. And I'm going to turn it over to Donna Mackshank to share a word of prayer. Thank you for joining me in a prayer. 
generous God, as we gather as community through Facebook, across our yards, or from our balconies, our hearts are full as we enter into the Landis Homes Fellowship Week of fundraising. We join giving thanks for the Landis Homes community and all of you participating in our Fellowship Week from a distance. We are community gathered near and far. We give thanks for the technology that enables us to stay connected. We are grateful for the creativity that birthed the fun activities planned for this week. For team members, residents, and the broader community who have donated items to be sold. And grateful for all whose generosity will support our brothers and sisters through the Caring Fund. Bless us, generous one, with joy and compassion as we enter into this week of sharing joyfully and giving generously. With gratitude, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Donna. I'm holding a cowbell. Uh, this is one of the traditions of Fellowship Day that we do each year to get the auction going. And symbolically, I want to ring the cowbell so that we all know the auction's open, Fellowship Day is off and running, and again, we hope you participate. Ready? That's kind of loud. All right, hope to see everyone under the big white tent again next year. Be well.